Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's CJ. I thought we would have lunch together today and do a video tier ranking all of the books I've read in 2021 by their cover design only, okay? We know I love talking shit about book cover designs. I'm eating chickpea lemon orzo. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen this on the vlog, vlog vlog. Uh, I don't know. Let's do it. We're using back into tube lifestyle, and this is a, a tube tuberific tuber video. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have five categories. First is gorge. No explanation needed. It's gorge. Second is cutie. You know, there's some design thought in here, and it looks pretty good. Number three is give us nothing. It was a designed object, but did they try very hard? Number four. It does exist. Yep, that is a book that exists and it might be a little ugly. And number five, disgusting. Get it away from us. We hate it. Start over and try again. This has nothing to do with the content of the books that I'm reviewing. We're doing aesthetics only, baby. We're judging books by their covers. All right, let's go. I screen record for the first time, so I'm kind of scared. Okay, I'm doing a screen record. I've read 53 books this year, which feels pretty good. It does feel pretty good, I must say. My mouse dies too a lot. That's something, yep, mm -hmm. connection was lost. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. This is off to a great start. Okay, let's do the luminaries first. I'm gonna say she's a cutie. Like, celestial without being annoying and like, hot topic witchy i like it i think this is fun song of solomon i love tony morrison's covers because i have like a soft spot in my heart for their design ethos i love that they all match and that they've never changed it is objectively giving us nothing though so i'm kind of concerned about this one i'm gonna say give us nothing i am i'm sorry swimming home feels very 80s or 90s to me uh it exists it does exist i have to admit <laughs> let's see 10th of december yeah uh i like i like this this use of type i think it's kind of fun we lost our mouse again i think it's kind of fun uh does it give me nothing or does it exist it exists this is disgusting, this Deborah Levy cover of things I don't want to know. Atrocious, this use of type is gross, I hate everything about this. It reads like motivational school poster from the early 2000s. Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. I like this, I do like this. Some people don't like this, I think Hannah in particular from Let's Talk About Books Baby hated this, but the kitschy collage, like it has a defined look and feel which I appreciate when everything looks the same nowadays. This is gonna take a while, so excuse me if I'm like kind of speeding through this, but I mean, we have a lot to talk through. Eileen, 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 Eileen. Mysterious, foreboding. I love a black cover, I have to admit. I will say she's a cutie. I will say she's a cutie. Do I have any gorge covers on here this year? Like probably barely none, you guys. It's gonna be hard to get in that coveted five-star spot. Outline by Rachel Cusk. I'm sick of the Picasso abstracted profile faces. I wouldn't say this is very innovative. It's giving me nothing. Her body and other parties, I hate this cover. Like, could not look more like a YA fantasy cover in my opinion. Not my favorite. Disgusting disgusting hot milk i would say deborah levy needs help with her book covers in general at least the the us ones it is a photographic treatment it gives me the vibes of the place like this is set in a desert coastal town hot spain i think uh it exists it exists Do we do a first five star i'm kind of cheating by looking down here but I have to say, Future Feeling by Joss Lake is Gorge. It is pastel, it is operating on some trends, but it feels 
sci-fi futuristic it evokes like this dreamy ethereal place and i think that works because it is dealing with some unreal elements and i like this 3d shape that they've made and extruded and the type sitting within it, it feels really fresh and fun to me so she's gorge our first gorge oh my god you never thought it would happen the answers a novel by Catherine lacy that is existing that's definitely existing you know this is like roy lichtenstein inspired pop art kind of uh abstracted woman's face with type over it and i don't like it i gotta be honest with you i don't like it controversial are you ready for the most controversial part of this video my brilliant friend i think it's a cutie <laughs> gonna put in disgusting didn't you i think this book cover is cool okay like she's clearly and deliberately referencing romance covers and flipping it on its head this is a woman centered story quartet narrative and she's pulling from imagery that readers might be used to but subverting it i think elena ferrante is committed to this weird 80s realism painterly style in the quartet and i like it i don't know like i i like people who are sticking to something even though it's weird and not popular and like still giving it to us separation it does exist you know painterly abstract paint strokes not a lot going on there david sedaris theft by finding i like this because it's like inspired by sign painting um, I think they even commissioned like a sign painter to create this custom type. So like all of these, this lettering is hand rendered, which is really cool. I like it. You know, it's not a cutie, but it is well designed. Like they're doing something here. Rules do not apply. I mean, this looks so dated already, doesn't it? This like type, the hand drawn um, uh, signature over it. Mm. I don't know it does exist and i can tell what time period it existed in topeka school by ben lerner very foreboding i like this like use of found imagery of the tornado on the highway it seems so menacing and like a dark black storm i like the type it's nice and chunky and the wraparound image on the book in real life is nice like it continues the highway scene I think she's a cutie. I like a black cover. I really do. Lot by Brian Washington. I do like this story. I do like this cover. Um, kind of trippy, retro looking for some reason to me. Like we're playing with a rainbow gradient and some kind of retro looking font. I kind of regret having cutie go to give us nothing because this is giving us something but I wouldn't say it's a cutie but it's more of a cutie than it is giving us nothing so we'll put it there. White Teeth by Zadie Smith it exists that is type. What my mother and I don't talk about that definitely exists is just type. Fake accounts don't look up my passwords. Fake accounts by Lauren Euler she's gorge she's gorge I mean, it is my attachment to the book, but tact, like a tactile sense of this cover is really fun. The iridescent mirrors like literally show your reflection in them and uh, reference kind of like screens and like mirages. I think this is a really clever cover and it's really simple, but speaks to the content in a really fun way. Oh my God. The Sarah Moss summer water cover, painterly abstracted landscape, disgusting. What year is it, baby? Dominicana by Angie Cruz. You know, we're getting into that abstracted illustrated style language, kind of similar to what's going over here. <sighs> like it is a designed object, but it's giving me nothing personally because it looks like everything else. You know, similar to detransition, baby. Do you see what I mean? Like, I feel like there's been some memes populating in the book community about everything looking like this, just like chunky abstract fields of color. And I agree, I'm over it. Okay, are you ready? Another weird one. 
the exhibition of Persephone Q. She's gorge. She's gorge. We're using a historical oil painting and a fun, fun, fresh use of type. This giant Q taking over the majority of the book cover. And it has this like blurring edge effect, which I think lends to the content of the book itself really well too. This is an FSG book. I feel like they kill it with covers more often than they don't. Um, so I love that. <sighs> How do I feel about this? Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. I like the use of photography in a book cover if it's done well, and I think this is an example of it being done well. The type is fun, it's breaking the frame, kind of acting as a violator, and the image itself is kind of intriguing. I think it's a cutie, I have to say it's a cutie. Hmm, bloobs, bloobie bloobie bloobs. A lot of people like this cover, and... I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't really like this cover I loved this book but like people were like oh it's so gorgeous the cover and I didn't think so it exists it exists I'm sorry I think with that poppy blue we could have had more something more could have happened here kind of let me down Ugh, exciting times I don't know why but I hate this cover it really fits in with these this trio up here but it seems so like rudimentary and annoying to me like not in like a crafty way just in a way where it feels unfinished so i have to say it exists thematically ties with these but it does just exist to me disability visibility it's hard to have a book cover for a collection of essays that's an anthology written by a bunch of diverse people and i like this this geometric shape i think it's fun i think you know it's not it's not as simple and like crafty as as these it's more refined and maybe like a little bit more elegant and sci-fi yeah see it fits in with with this lot abstraction more than it does over here so i'm gonna put it in a cutie it's a cutie Blah. okay all's well this mono wand cover disgusting this like theatrical mask face is made up of pills and it's so on the nose and annoying i hate I hate the cover. <laughs> no thanks. Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. She has to be gorge. Blech. She has to be a gorge girl. I mean, I do think there is a theme building by our, our gorge tier. What that is yet, not sure, but I think it's like gradient rainbows, right? Obviously, I like that. I like the strip usage here. The book itself has like a nice luster glitter in the paper, which is really fun. Loving it. Early morning riser. Look, it's given us nothing. Like, you look like every other bitch here, for real. Who is she? I can't, I can't see past the oil pastel abstraction of the cover anymore. You all look the same to me. Stranger Care by Sarah Centilles. Hmm. It does exist. It's like a weird collage that is nature inspired, but it's like also about motherhood. I don't know, I don't like it. It's a little too like sentimental to me. Drive your plow over the bones of the dead. I have to say it exists. <laughs> it exists, it exists to me. Joan Didion, she exists. She absolutely exists. Look at her. I mean, we need white teeth down here too. So they can all just exist together. Hidden Valley Road. I mean, what do I want from a piece of nonfiction for a cover? I don't know. I don't want this. I think that's a little disgusting. I think that photo itself is haunting. It's like of all of the children. There's 12 kids in this family and they're all lined up on a staircase dressed the same. Scary. I like the usage of that because it is terrifying, but I don't know. It's just not working for me. Heat wave is a photograph with like a heavy lens flare over it. And it is like objectively pleasing to my eye, but also it's like, did you try? Like it evokes the setting of the book pretty well. But I don't know. It just seems like a little overprocessed. 
I like this this pew cover. I do. It has like silver foil in it. It looks like a torn Bible, which I think is interesting. It's like violating the actual type so that that W and pew is a little uh, concealed, which I think is fun. Bold choice. Cute. After parties. I hate this illustration style. That is disgusting to me. Has to go down there. I'm sorry. It's just not doing anything for me. The Atmospherians so on the nose it's about like an instagram cult and like the evils of social media and this is supposed to look like an instagram post and i guess it does but i don't want it to i don't like the way that looks no night rooms this is using like a vintage photo and putting it into like a collage style it's another collection of essays and i don't like it I don't like it. Glitch feminism. I thought this would have like a foil treatment on the cover, but it's just like printed to look like foil, which is kind of tacky in my opinion. But it is well designed. I like the echo of the glitch. I like how it references its context, but overall it's giving me nothing. It would have been a cutie if they used a better print process. We can only save ourselves. I think she's a cutie. Like I said, photographic treatment, fun use of type, big chunky borders. They they are talking to each other. They're in conversation with one another, in my opinion. Open water is a cutie. That's another one to go in this little trio of photographic treatment with fun type loving um the detail of this actual book cover too like their skin tones look so gorge next to these like reddish coral and tangerine colors really nice <sighs> you know this is fun i like a 3d like rendered object in a book cover i think i'm finding out like these two in conversation with each other we it's doing a lot I have to admit this is doing a lot it's doing like a portal a rainbow reflection there's like clouds and landscapes going through it but it doesn't look like i feel like i like anything that doesn't look like this so i'm like yeah at least that's like a designed object you know what i mean cause cosmogony she's gorge She's Gorge. We're taking like a scientific photo of a black hole or some other kind of space thing and kind of inverting it and making it pink and red. I like it. It's simple, but it's striking to me. She's beautiful. Filthy animals, disgusting. <laughs> I hate this cover. I hate that typeface they chose. I hate the streaky boringness of this abstracted nothingness. I really liked this collection of essays, but that cover is atrocious to me. You know what? The life of the mind, it's given us nothing. It almost just exists, but I think the use of like not having that photo be full bleed and having it kind of have like heat map vibes is making it a little bit more intentionally designed than some of these exist ones. So I think I'm gonna put it there. We Play Ourselves by Jen Silverman. I mean, I like the beat. <laughs> uh it exists it exists it's doing too much but it's not disgusting to me like look these are both loud and busy and like incorporating different elements but this isn't as like weird hot topic goth as this is to me i don't know uh what is this book called i just finished this the employees the employees it's a book in translation i mean it is absolutely giving us nothing isn't it but I like the violator of this orange square interrupting the type again. Like at least it's doing that rather than just existing on a picture like this. Oh my God, we're down to two. Claire in the sun, she's a cutie. She's a cutie and I will tell you why she's a cutie. I just like this hand illustration. I just think it's fun. Uh, I like the idea of a sun and a hand and uh, it's cute to me. That's for sentimental reasons only. Like, uh, 
in actuality it probably would give me nothing but it is a cutie for now i don't know it kind of is fucking with me now that it's in the cutie tier i have to let my personal interest of the sun in the hand go because it does give me nothing like look how well it fits here yeah yeah that makes more sense last one second place by rachel cusk you know not the the trendy cusk covers that she's been putting out lately and i don't particularly like this painting this abstract painting of a woman's body it does exist it is not disgusting to me that is what i would say uh yeah so there's my final tier that's my tier do i have any thoughts about my taste i'm basic <laughs> I'm like alternative basic, you know what I mean? Like I can totally see how this is just one step removed from this shit that I was shitting on the whole time. But you know, you gotta make the distinction somewhere. That was it. That was me tier ranking all of the books I've read in 2021 so far, which is 53, Jesus, by book covers only. I hope that was fun. I hope it was interesting. Tell me if you violently disagree with any of my choices because you'll be wrong. <laughs> okay, cool. Bye everyone.